Battery company S-Volt. They're actually a division of Great Wall Motors and their battery unit was, well, developed intentionally to provide batteries for Great Wall Motors cars. That's the kind of cool thing about this battery technology because you pretty much know it's going to be going straight into Great Wall Motors EVs, enabling them to charge from 10 to 80% in apparently a claimed nine minutes. Guys, really? I mean, is it really easier to fill up your vehicle with gasoline or diesel when you can charge in nine minutes? And now remember that that's just for long trips. Most of the time you're going to be charging at home anyway. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. For years now, I've been saying really fast charging speeds are coming. And we're seeing chargers being installed all across China, capable of 600 kilowatt charging. Now they're installing 900 kilowatt chargers. It's probably what you'd want for this vehicle. Asphalt have unveiled their Feng Xing short blade battery. So short blade batteries they appear to be what enables super fast charging. Geely's Aegis short blade battery can charge at similar speeds. Now, it's capable of a 6C charging multiplier and apparently can charge to 80% in 8.5 minutes. 10 to 80% in 8.5 minutes. That's just staggering. Now, in addition to revealing this battery, Asphalt also unveiled a battery purpose-built for off-road vehicles. And it's for the Tank 500 and other off-road vehicles that the Great World Motors car brand will be releasing over the next 12 months. Asphalt Energy is a Chinese battery company, a subsidiary of Great World Motors. And they've just unveiled this battery at their fifth battery day event in Chengdu. The short blade battery or the Feng Xing short blade battery has a 6C charging multiplier and an energy density of 185 watt hours per kilogram. So it's a lithium ion phosphate battery, 185 watt hours per kilogram. It's not super high energy density, but it's actually for the type of battery it is, it is actually very, very high energy density because short blade batteries, it's harder to get high energy density in these short blade batteries. BUID have a short blade battery uh, that they've just revealed. It's not yet in production in terms of going into cars, but it will be soon. It can charge at a similar speed to this, 600 kilowatt charging speed but it has a lower energy density. The energy density of BYD's version is 175 watt hours per kilogram. This is 185 watt hours per kilogram. Uh, Geely's is similar. Geely's is a bit higher. Geely's short blade battery is 192 watt hours per kilogram. But all of those numbers are still much higher than for example, the BYD blade battery, which is at about 160 watt hours per kilogram. So you can see these new generation batteries coming from various different manufacturers can charge you know, three times faster than existing battery technology or two, three times faster and has higher energy density at the same time. I mean, being able to charge your battery from 10 to 80% in 8.5 minutes, that's the future, right? That's the future of batteries. By the time we get to 2030, that will be commonplace. Most cars will be capable, you know, most cars that are not budget cars will be capable of charging at those kinds of speeds within the next five years. The Feng Xing is powered by Asphalt's third generation short blade cells, which use high energy cathode and anode materials, said the company. In addition to a version that supports extremely fast charging, they also have a long life version with a 15 year, 600,000 kilometer guarantee. Apparently it can handle more than 5,000 charges and discharges and still work after that. So I'm not sure what battery degradation would be at that point, but the point is here, Guaranteeing a battery for 15 years and 600,000 kilometers of driving is what we're going to see. Now, there is no, there's no, there's no internal combustion vehicle in the world, gasoline or diesel powered, that has a warranty of 15 years or a warranty of 600,000 kilometers, which is about 400,000 miles. It has never existed before. CATL also have a warranty on their new commercial batteries for 1 million kilometers, but they're guaranteeing that at 1 million kilometers of driving, it'll still have at least 80% of its original capacity left. That shows you four different batteries, all incredibly high performance, and all really, to be honest, gonna outlast the life of any car, unless you're, you know, you're buying it at age 20 and you wanna be driving it at age 80, then maybe it won't outlive the, outlive the life of the car. But you know, 99% of the time, you're, not, you're, gonna, you're gonna be just getting rid of the car, the battery will still be fine, and you'll use the battery for something else. 
in the battery industry, C refers to the battery's charge multiplier and 6C means the battery can theoretically be fully charged in one sixth of an hour, which is 10 minutes. But Great Wall Motors says actually it's a bit faster than that. It can do it in eight and a half minutes. Now, a few cars at this point in time that charge nearly that fast are the Li Mega electric MPV, which is called the, the coffin vehicle in China. It's not a, you know, it just looks a bit like a, looks a bit like a hearse. Anyhow, uh, there's also Zika's EVs. A few different Zika models can charge at approximately 600 kilowatt speeds as well. Last June, local media outlet 36KR reported that CHL and BYD were working on faster 6C charging technology. And obviously, so are Geely, uh, Zika, and clearly Great Wall Motors. In fact, there's quite a few brands working on this technology at this point. CNN Post says that S Folder unveiled yesterday its first battery built specifically for off road vehicle models capable of operating in temperatures from minus 43 degrees Celsius up to 60 degrees Celsius. As far as I know, there is no car engine, there's no ute pickup truck engine that is rated for minus 43 degrees Celsius and all the way up to 60 degrees Celsius. Now, if you know of one, let me know what that is, but I've never heard of it. And I follow the automotive industry pretty closely. The battery has a pulse discharge of 5C in extreme, in extreme cold at minus 20 degrees Celsius, meaning it's extremely reliable. I mean, at minus 20 degrees Celsius, it still works perfect, perfectly fine. It has a capacity of up to 59 kilowatt hours and supports 800 volt charging and has been used in Great Wall Motors Tank 500, which was launched on the 1st of January. So that battery uh, intended for four-wheel drives, it's already in Great Wall Motors vehicles that are out in China and it'll be out in uh, numerous countries around the world pretty soon. Big advantage here of an EV then, if you're going off road driving, is going to be the ability for the battery to work in pretty much any temperature, extreme heat and extreme cold. And keep in mind, batteries don't need oxygen, right? So if you're trying to drive off a mountain, trying to drive up, I don't know, Mount Everest or something, you know, internal combustion engine vehicles can't actually handle that because they need a certain amount of oxygen. The engine needs to be bringing in oxygen, but an electric car doesn't rely on oxygen at all. So theoretically, you should be able to drive one of these up to the top of Mount Everest. Now, I know it's too steep. You're not going to do that. But the point is that if you wanted to do, you know, if these vehicles would be perfectly battery, EVs would be perfectly suited to very high altitude work. The Tank 500 High 4Z is powered by a lithium ion ternary battery with a capacity of 60 kilowatt hours and a range of 200 kilometers. Now, the reason is because that's for a plug-in hybrid. So plug-in hybrid has a battery only range of 200 kilometers, probably WLTP around about 150 kilometers of range on EV only driving. Asphalt, as you can see, have a number of different batteries. Now they have also a fast charging and long life version. The fast charging version of their commercial vehicle battery has a capacity of 91.4 kilowatt hours and supports 4C charging multipliers, can charge from 10 to 80% in 14 minutes. So the commercial battery can charge at what would you say that is about mm, 450 kilowatt. 450 kilowatt charging speeds for their commercial battery means that this is really advantageous for mines and all these kind of different commercial applications where you don't want to be sitting around waiting for a battery to charge in order to get your machinery working again. The long life version has a capacity of 95.7 kilowatt hours with 3C charging multiplier and has an eight year 1.5 million kilometer warranty. 1.5 million kilometer warranty. <laughs> Guys, in 2030, when we're seeing these 10 year, 15 year, 20 year battery warranties, and we're seeing charging speed in eight, nine minutes, even probably even faster than that, and really high energy density, you would have to be an idiot to want to buy an internal combustion car. You would have to be just like something really, really wrong with you. I, I don't know, but the market is heading here and we know that things are not going to stop there and things will continue to get better. I mean, this doesn't even include solid state batteries. Maybe we don't even need solid state batteries. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments.